Welcome back everyone to Astian's Let's Play of Wild Arms Ultra Code F on El Tyre's YouTube channel. Where we last left off, we had attempted to summon the Western Wind and found that we weren't able to because Rudy has something stopping his heart from responding to the Guardian. Uh, or the Guardian responding to his heart, should I say. Uh, we came next to... We actually went back to Ruins of Memory to get another item. Thanks to RPG Fan for letting us know about that little tip there about using the password Keeper to get into another section there. And then now we are currently in Arctica. Oh, I don't have another duplicator. Crap. All right. Oh, there's a new enemy. I thought it was going to be the same battle as before. Let's switch in Emma so she can download. Okay. You can strike buddy that one. You can download from Christine. Hey Christine. And I hope you guys don't, like none of you are named Christine, because that would be awkward. Now I'll just write down while this is going that I need to go back to Arctica with the duplicator. Arctica. Duplicator. Alrighty, so Christine is weak to light. Perfect. Download that shit. I don't even know if Christine has anything. Nope. Aww. Alright. Bye, Emma. Actually. I'm just wondering, does she have any light based? Oh, she does. I might see how much this does, damage-wise. I picked up Bright Blast from the Fairy Lights in Gento Soen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. So I gave uh, Jack his regeneration skill again, which is awesome. Now there's actually a dungeon in this game called the Abyss. It has 100 floors and is really quite difficult. I'm not sure if I want to actually complete it as part of this Let's Play, knowing that it's going to be so difficult. But you guys let me know, do you want to see me do the Abyss or should I not do the Abyss? Um, it'll probably be the last thing I do prior to beating the game, or I might beat the game and then come back and do it as an extra. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do it. You guys, again, just let me know what you'd like to see, and I'll try and accommodate it to the best of my ability. Alright, so let's go in this one now. We may actually find a duplicator in here somewhere. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, there's something on the ground over there. What's this? In the center of the plate on the wall, there is a small place to put something and the letter of armor is etched. Oh, okay. Hmm. What is oh shit, I didn't even... What did I pick up? Event item. Oh, here we go. Dirty dog tag. This is the dog tag for a fallen knight. Dog tag reads Marco. Hmm. Oh, here's where one of the doorways is crumbled from the demon attack. Interesting. Well, I found another Mega Berry at the end of that fight. So that was interesting. Uh, one thing I wanted to make mention of is the fact that this dungeon is actually optional. You don't ever really have to come back to Arctica once you have... Actually, I don't think you even need to come to it at all. Like, you should be able to go... S Actually, no, you do. To be able to reveal Car Dingle, you need to come here. But, uh... After you've come here for the first time, you don't need to come back again. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't want to come back again. Okay, so there's a dog tag down there. How do I get it? The whole walkway is fallen through. 
Okay, well, there's a door down there, so perhaps... If I go back out here, was there a door down... No. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, that was up. There's a door up. Okay, so I don't want to do that. Let's go this way first. Okay. Wait. Oh, this is above where the duplicate... Oh, here we go. Oh my god! It's because I, as soon as you walk into it, it activates. Okay, so the bent dog tag. This is the dog tag for a fallen knight. Dog tag reads Asprilla. Okay. I know I should probably be doing these battles, but... So we're outside again. Alright, we'll do this one. I must have really good luck or something at the moment, because that's the third Mega Berry I found at the end of a battle. Alright, let's go in here. I just realised we haven't seen Justine or the other Guardian that we got. Um, the Snow one. We haven't seen them in action. It's probably not a good idea to try and attempt to use the snow one here because I don't think that any of the enemies are weak to it considering we are in the snow. The castle mustn't have been built on very good foundation if half the walls have collapsed. Half the flooring has collapsed should I say. Hmm. Ah okay so now we're above that other room. So in that battle I just learnt that the Christines have an ability called Great Paper Cutout. I think that's what it was called. But it reduces your HP to 1. Which is ridiculous. Uh, and I just wanted to double check. Does Rudy still have that life chart? He does. Hmm. I just felt like that he didn't. Is there anything that I can put on Jack? He's got seven. Mm, what about resist up three? Is resistance... Uh, does that have to do with magical resistance? Or is that resistance to uh, debilitating ailments like poison and um, lock, skill lock and that type of stuff? The skill lock in this game? Or is that... I must be thinking of Chrono Trigger. Sorry, guys. No, I'm sure you can get skill locked in this game, too. But anyway, you guys let me know what it means, because I have no idea. Wait, where are we? That door's locked. What is it? Can I look at it? A device is on which prevents the door from being opened. Okay. Hmm. Well, that battle had four Christines, two skeletons, which was ridiculous. But as a result of that, it gave me 2,200 experience. And I got another Mega Berry at the end of it. So I should come back here to farm Mega Berries. It's amazing. Oh, here's another dog tag. Old dog tag. I reckon that one belongs to Cold Bird or whatever his name was. I was going to say Cold Beard. But I'm like, that's not right, is it? Oh, no, it's not. It refers to Kurt. So it looks like we're going to have to backtrack a bit now. We'll probably get into battles. Oh, no. There were some ways that we haven't gone yet, so... Um, I don't want to do... This is a good place. This will be a good place to come back to and grind, I think. So I might do that, rather than fighting now, I'll come back to it off camera because I'll, I'll need to anyway. Actually, no I won't because I've downloaded from both of the enemies. Now I believe that may have happened because Cecilia doesn't have PS subs subscribe, PS surprise guard on. So Rudy has one. I'm sure I have, no not Rudy. I'm sure I have more than one. Who has the other one? Hmm. No. 
I must only have one. That's really bad. I need to have at least six by the time I go to do the abyss. Because if a monster does that to you uh, and singles out one person in the abyss, then you're pretty much fucked. Uh, I know there are monsters that you can farm them from. So I might have to try and do that later or off camera. Uh, because there's no hope in me doing the abyss if I don't have PS surprise guard. Alrighty, so let's keep going, backtracking all the way back to the entrance because I believe we can go... There's two ways we could go, wasn't there? Wait. Wasn't there something down here as well? Or am I... No, I'm imagining things. I think it was here and then we have to go up the stairs. And there's a dog tag there. Burnt dog tag. I wonder if this is cold birds. Wouldn't that be ironic? Ha! It is, it's cold birds. Oops, not switch. Poor guys. So we've got four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's seven that we need. Does Jack have his or...? In the original Wild Arms, when you look at the throne, um, I believe Jack finds or figures out one of his uh, fast draw techniques, but that doesn't happen in this one. Oh, isn't this the lift? This is the lift that they took in the first, in the intro sequence. Interesting. It's nice to revisit this area. So they exited from behind the throne. What is that? Must just be water. And this? This looks really suspicious. Why is there a mark on the ground? Hmm. Another one? Wow. We must be going really deep in. Floor 17. And we're missing three dog tags. So I hope that they're all down here. Otherwise, they don't know where they are. There's one. Oh, there's another duplicator door. Cut dog tag. Organize. Ryan. One, two, three, four, five. We need two more. This is where the arch was, or where mother, mother was, really. If I find another duplicate, I'm going to come back and use it on that door there. Oh my god, it's a new enemy! And what the hell happened there? Like, I didn't... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to strike buddy this one of these bitches. You can snipe bullet that one. You can spectre this bitch. And then I can bring Emma in after the two scissor crazy bitches are killed. Otherwise, they're going to wreck my party. Hopefully this kills it. Aw, oh, damn. Because if they use that great cut on me, I'm dead. Good. Goodbye. Alright. Let's switch in Emma. Alright, so you can attack... Okay. You can strike buddy that one. Emma can download from Durahan. And you can analyze Durahan. Shouldn't it be Dullahan? Because it's missing a head. Oh. 
Is that a mistranslation? MSHP is so bad. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the horse has its head bandaged. Weak to light, of course. Suppressed curse? Oh, oh. Hmm. Alright, Emma, come on, just do your thing. Oh, no skills to download. What a disappointment. Oh, we know now, at least. What I shall do is accelerator and heal you. And you can spectre on the Durahan. Although Cecilia has 50 FP, 50%. If any enemies left alive after this, um, I was going to say I'll summon Justine, but I think Justine has 75 FP. 75% FP is summoned. And again, I don't know how I got drawn into this battle, because it was a green, like I could have dismissed it. Maybe because... Maybe because that was running. Broken dog tag. So I have six. Maybe Jack has the other one. The lever is rusted. It cannot move. The way outside of the castle is closed by a strong gate. This is where Jack and Elmina got accosted. Accosted. So I guess we need to just backtrack now all the way back up to the top. Uh, I'll need to make a note of that door there as well. Um, just quickly, Arctica duplicated door, entrance, and arch. Alright, so I'll have to come back here at some point, I guess. So... So we know Elmina is the so Do we have Elmina's tag? It would have been that one, wouldn't it? The one that we just picked up near the gate, because that's where she was taken. Let's just have a look. Um, broken? Yeah. Well, we definitely know that Elmina was the sword. Uh, and Jack was the bracer. So... Marco did say that... Was it Marco or was it Chris that said who they were in the flashback that Jack had? Like... I think Chris was the competition. He must have been the gauntlet or something. We'll go back to where the dog tags are so we can double check. Oh my god. Get out of the way, throne. Alright, so this is where we needed to be. Let's just jump down here. Alright. In the centre of the plate on the wall, there is a small place to put, place to put a gauntlet. Okay, so gauntlet's there. Then what was this one? Grieve. Lance. Lance is Asprilla, I'm pretty sure. So let's put him in there. Oops. What? Why? Hmm. Shield. Maybe shield is Chris. Oh, not Chris. Ryan. What am I saying? Yeah, there we go. Oh, of course. That was really bad, guys. Emma got drawn into that battle. So what I'm going to do is... Who has surprise guard? You do. 
Let's take that off you and put it onto Emma. Um, so she doesn't get pulled into a battle like that again because she almost died. And that would have been terrible. Anyway, guys, this is the end of this episode. So this is Astin on Altaris YouTube channel taking you on a Let's Play of Wild Arms Alter Code F. If you've enjoyed this episode, feel free to like, subscribe, favorite, comment, and or share as it helps me out immensely. Thanks again, guys. When we return, we will try and figure this puzzle out and get out of Arctica as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers!